Hello friends, welcome back to my channel and welcome to my long overdue party vlog. From the end of August to the beginning of September, my partner and I spent a couple of days in Porto and it was our second holiday together. After a couple of hours on the plane, we landed in Portugal in the evening and went straight to our hotel. We decided to book the Muco Hotel for our five day stay as we liked its overall look and vibe and the location. Nothing in this video is sponsored by the way, we paid for everything ourselves. But of course I wouldn't mind being sponsored to travel. On our first full day in Porto, we went for breakfast first, of course, and as I had marked a few vegan friendly spots on my Google Maps list, we were prepared and headed to Noshi Cafe. Naturally I ordered an iced matcha latte with my breakfast of a vegan croissant and toast. My boyfriend went for a slice of apple cake and a Portuguese specialty named Francesinha, which is made with a lot of meat and cheese. The food was very good and it was nice sitting in the sun in a rather busy location. After strolling around and exploring the city for a while, we checked out some shops. The first one called Patch Porto was a really cool concept store with lots of vintage furniture and decor as well as clothing. They also had the most amazing backyard with lots of plants on display and I felt really inspired. The next shop was just next door and it sold coffee but also beautiful items and clothing designed and made by locals. I bought two espresso cups there as a birthday gift for my bestie and got myself a bottle of kombucha which tasted really nice. On we wandered towards the Palacio del Cristal, a big park where lots of birds roam around and where at this time a book fair was taking place. You also have a nice view over some parts of the city here. And as I said, there were lots of birds like peacocks, ducks and even chickens. After visiting more shops, hunting for souvenirs, it was time for a little food break. So we went to Nola Kitchen and I tried their chocolate cake, which was safe to say the best chocolate cake in the world. It came with a side of date miso caramel, which complemented the cake perfectly. Of course, I also had another iced matcha latte with it.
Afterwards, we checked out Montpellier Vintage, where I got this nice blouse for just 5 euros. So We went back to the hotel to chill for a bit and change and then went to dinner. We walked a lot every day, which was pretty easy from our hotel's location. We had our first dinner at Boa Bao, an Asian restaurant with lots of vegan options. It seemed to be very popular and was quite full, so we sat at the bar, but this way we could watch the cooks preparing the food, which was pretty awesome in my opinion. The food was good, but we found it a little expensive for the portion sizes. However, the desserts were really nice. On the second day, we grabbed our breakfast at the all-vegan bakery Audite, where I also got the first vegan pastel de nata of the trip. And as it was also very close, we made a stop at Combi Coffee Roses, where I bought an iced latte and my boyfriend a sandwich. As the name suggests, they roast their own coffee, which is super cool. Summer rain on the window. Watch the time float on. Cool air blows a memento. We sat down in a nearby small park with our breakfast and as every day the sun was shining. In case you were wondering, yes I took a lot of film photos during our trip. I'm so sorry for dreaming about the future. Maybe I'll be better when we're old. My first pastel de nata was really good, although a little burnt at the top. Other than that, I also had a pain au chocolat and tried my boyfriend's cinnamon roll as well. Everything was delicious and I definitely recommend Odita Bakery and Combi Coffee Roasters. After our indulgent breakfast, we headed to Mercado do Bolao, a famous market hall, but we didn't get anything there. My partner wished to see the stadium of FC Porto, so we went there for a tour of the stadium and checked out the museum afterwards. I'm not really interested in football, but it was very impressive. Afterwards it was time for lunch, so we went back to the city and went to Da Terra for the affordable vegan buffet. There were lots of options to choose from and in my opinion the value for money was good. Following this, more strolling through the city and checking out shops was done and then I persuaded my partner to go for dinner at a permanent Japanese food pop-up called Auto Lunch Isakaya, which is located at Cafe Epoca and opens Thursday to Saturday during the evenings. 
They serve authentic Japanese food and drinks, and although you might have to wait for a little to get a table and for the food to arrive, in my opinion, it's totally worth it, and I enjoyed every minute of it. I actually saw a poster of this pop-up at Combi Coffee Roasters, and it sounded intriguing to me, and I had to check it out. I was not disappointed. Yes, it wasn't cheap, but the taste and experience outweighed that for me. No one seems to hold me like you do. You're so wonderful. Stuck. On our way back to the hotel, we got ice cream as dessert. We were really lucky with the weather during our stay. It was always sunny and warm. On day three, we went to Mana for breakfast, and I kid you not when I tell you I had the best porridge ever there. When I'm with you, with you, I feel so lucky I met you. Mana is a place for food and yoga and keen on a healthy lifestyle. The atmosphere was very pleasant, and as I said, the food was amazing too. I got super excited when I saw the premium matcha on the menu and even different kinds, so I had to order one. Unfortunately, the taste was merely okay and I could already see from the bowl that was served to me that the preparation was not ideal, let's say. I would expect a nice formulaia and bright green color, even maybe not as much tea in the bowl in total, especially for the price. But well, I tried. I'd recommend going there for the food nonetheless. That was very nice. I was a bit hangry before we arrived at Mana, but yeah, it was very nice. It was probably the best porridge uh, I've ever had. Um, yeah, and the ice matcha latte was also the, the best so far here in Porto. Uh, I haven't had a lot, but um, yeah. <laughs> Um, I also ordered another matcha just because they had like different varieties on their menu and I was impressed and I thought why not try another one but it was not it was not super bad um, but I think it was a little too much water uh, so it also didn't have like a nice foam and um, yeah the color was also more like yellowish green um, but the taste was all right um, I don't know for the price maybe it was a little disappointing I don't know um, but yeah it it was all right and the overall experience was very nice uh, my boyfriend liked it too uh, yeah and now we are heading uh, to the beach finally and making a stop at um, a bookstore, a library. Very busy. Uh, which was supposedly uh, where JK Rowling started writing Harry Potter. Let's see. I call you pretty, but it never goes as bad. You think it's funny, I'm just trying to be. Yeah, well, that was a fail. When we got there, the queue was ridiculously long and we definitely did not want to spend hours in the sun waiting. So we went straight to the beach after getting some vegan treats at Pastelaria Tupi. Cause how can I try to cross all the lines that we've always had between you and I the suit? 
We reached our destination by bus and a few hundred meters by foot, during which we got to look at some pretty houses. And the atmosphere at the beach was very cool, quite moody, yet sunny with the mist and haze. We took the promenade alongside the lighthouse and sat down at the end. And of course I ate my vegan treats there. Just as fast as mine That I could be your guy You know I keep you by my side But maybe I'm just blind Or maybe I'm too serious da -da -da. Afterwards we went to the beach north of the lighthouse where I finally got to dip my feet into the cold Atlantic Ocean. I took a couple of black and white photos there, but somehow messed up during the developing process, but I think the look is kinda cool. I also couldn't resist letting my inner child come out and climb on the rocks and the water, and I also asked my partner to take a few photos of me there, which came out really nice in me. Soon it was time to head back to the city and actually to the other side of the river, to Gaia, where we were having dinner that evening. We decided to walk there and apparently a little music festival was taking place in the area. We had dinner at a table barbecue and hot pot restaurant as my boyfriend wished. We went to a similar restaurant in Hamburg before and really enjoyed it. Of course it's rather nice for meat eaters, but I picked out a lot of veggies and tofu and rice and liked it as well. And yes, each of us took their own half of the barbecue. I think 
just ordered a lot of food. The last day of our trip came much too soon and for the first time it was also raining. We took the bus to the city this time and went for breakfast at Maria Limau where we had very nice pancakes among other things. I spotted some plants in the back, so I had to check out their backyard with a monster that had huge leaves. Around midday, it was time to head to the airport, and I took that opportunity to write down some thoughts in my diary. Okay, so our flight is delayed by more than one hour and uh, we are gonna miss uh, the, um, the other plane in Lis Lisbon, Lisbon and yeah I just picked up some chocolates for my best friend who was watching our birdies uh, yeah and it looks like we are gonna leave now Hello from Lisbon. <laughs> Not amused. Alexa streaming now, drifting off my couch. We walked down the street, she's walked a thousand times. At the AM that night, under palm tree lights, for the first time I came up. Well, after an energy draining day and night in Lisbon, we headed to the airport again at 5 in the morning and luckily this time our flight to Hamburg did take place. We finally arrived home and were greeted by the sweetest bouquet from my bestie and it truly felt good to be home again, although I cannot wait for the next trip. Thank you so much for watching, let me know if you liked this video and if you have any recommendations for Porto as well. See you in my next video, take care and goodbye.